Hi, Betsy. Okay. Um, okay. Let me start our video. There we go. Okay. okay, Betsy. Here we are. Yes. Oh, good. That is much better. Yes, the sound is probably much better because I have a <laughs> I have a professional mic for starters and a much oh, bigger. That's good. <laughs> that works. Okay. Um, you said you wanted to give us one of the two versions of of yes two. yes. So there's two versions of the presentation I'm going to share with you, um, and I'm going to at two o'clock, which is going to be in about sixteen minutes. You can you guys can stay on for that. And then you can see how I do that presentation. And so then I will give you that, that presentation, whether you have a PC or an Apple, just let me know which one you need and I'll send it to you so that you have that handy. And then this, this is a, so this is for example, announcing, usually whenever I have a presentation, I always let people know the next time I'm having a presentation. So for example, today at the 2 p.m., I'll be announcing that tonight at 7 p.m., you know, we'll have our, if you want to invite anybody to come and learn more about this life-saving technology at 7 p.m. in the different time zones, it's listed here. But okay. this is this is the presentation that I have uh, that we're going to be doing at 2 p.m. And then let me stop and I'm going to show you another one that I have. It's a little simpler, which I think is in many ways better. And let me share my screen. There's this one. And this is actually a presentation that Dr. Stacy did when we were in London. So I'm gonna go through this one kind of quickly so that you kind of have like a, a short version of this. Um, if, you, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will have seen several times where I've actually used this presentation. I vary it between the two just so that people have new refreshed content and it looks you know, different and it's, it's, it's just intrigues people because you're not saying the same thing over and over again. So okay. we start off by saying, you know, Dr. Stacy says, I figured out what I want to be when I get older, and that's younger. <laughs> and so it's welcome, of course, to LifeWave. And of course, we want to look vibrant, feel great, enjoy life as we age. And the effective question I'd like to pose to you, all of you all, is like, what if you could change the trajectory of aging? And what if you could be a younger, more youthful you? What if? Well, here we have Allie. She's nearly about 30 years old and she lives a very healthy lifestyle she loves yoga and travel those are her loves she's starting to notice some changes now she can't really party all night she's concerned about staying youthful she has a lot of job pressure and she's anxious some days but doesn't she doesn't like drugs and then there's dr stacy she's when we first made this presentation she was in her late 40s she was actually turning 48 but she now turned 50 last september anyhow she lives a healthy lifestyle. She loves her family. She loves teaching and travel. She feels amazing. She's been into health and wellness since she was 18. She started doing parasite cleanses and detoxes at 18, but she's focused on prevention, on longevity, which is a big priority for her. Always learning new ways to stay healthy and vitality and overall wellness are a priority for her. And then we have this gal, Carla, who's in her mid fifties. She loves being active, loves her granddaughter, but she's starting to notice some changes, more aches and pains, more fatigue, gaining weight, not sleeping well. She has back pain and she's starting to look and feel older. And she goes to the doctor and he just says, well, you're getting older. We can run some tests. We can give you some prescription drugs. And she's wondering, can I ever look young again? And now we have Ben, and Ben is in his mid-60s. He loves being active. He's looking forward to retirement, which is coming up pretty soon, and he wants to travel all over the world. But he's noticing some aches and pains and decreased libido, which for men to have a decreased libido is very, very threatening, very disturbing. 
and and creates a great deal of insecurity. He's not sleeping well. He has knee pain. His stamina is just ebbing. And it takes him much longer to recover from his hikes and his jogs. So he's concerned about heart disease, about prescription meds. If you know his doctor is talking about possible knee replacement, which he doesn't want. And is he is he going to even be mobile during retirement? That used to not be an issue, but now it's a very real concern. And so then a friend of Ben's asked him, hey, have you heard about this patch? What do you know about stem cells? Has anyone told you you told you about these LifeWave cell activation patches? And so the thing to know is that our stem cells, they decline as we age. You know, a newborn, in fact, at conception, you have 100% of your master smart cells known as stem cells, right? And then as you continue to age, by the time you're 30, 50% of them turn off. And by the time you're 60, 90% of them turn off. And now you have only 10% of your stem cells that are going to be there from 60 to take you to the finish line, whatever age that might be, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 116. Like we have a, a gal here in Northern California who she's the second oldest Californian. She just turned 116 years old, Eddie Ceccarelli. So what about stem cell injections? Because that is an alternative for some people. And uh, so the problem is that they're very expensive. You know, stem cell injections, stem cell by IV can run 8,000 to 25,000 for just one IV of stem cells. It's painful, it's invasive, not always effective, and there are possible side effects and there's no guaranteed results. And what if there was an affordable alternative? Would you be interested? Well, this is our inventor that I just talked about at the beginning of our Zoom. And this is David Schmidt. He's our visionary scientist, inventor, founder, and CEO of LifeWave. I like to describe him as the combination of Nikola Tesla, Albert Einstein, and Steve Jobs all braided into one human being um, who's very modest and very brilliant and tuned, very divinely tuned in, tapped in, turned on to our creator. And he developed phototherapy energy technology for the US Navy SEALs, as I mentioned at the beginning. So in 2004 was when this company was then born. And it was because of that first patch that he created for the you know, for energy enhancer for the Navy SEALs. Since then, he's developed a suite of phototherapy products, and we have up to 11 different types of patches. We have laboratories and manufacturing in California and Ireland. We actually have 15 distribution centers in the world, and we have expanded to 82 countries. We just expanded into South Korea just this February, and there are eight global offices. So this is... Uh, it has global reach. This is to help all of humanity, humanity and all mammals, really. This is a patented phototherapy. It's a wearable patch technology, as you can see here, and also here on my side temple. It uses specific wavelengths of light to activate stem cells without injections. It's safe, non-drug, over 80 clinical studies. We're, up, we're actually up to over 90 that are published on the Start X 39 now dot com educational site, nothing to buy there, just purely education there. It reduces pain and inflammation and it speeds wound healing and tissue repair. So here we have a few people who you're going to see that the before and afters. And here you have a guy who in just eight short weeks experienced skin rejuvenation with just the X39. You could see how he definitely has a more youthful appearance, better, better skin texture in just short you know, eight short weeks. This gal here, this is just 30 days and then four and a half months later, you can see how, um, look at her, the difference in her neck from day one to day 30 and four and a half months later, she definitely has a more youthful appearance. Here we have a gentleman and I wish I wish I could say that this is not a common thing, but this happens a lot to firefighters. He, he wasn't a firefighter, he was in construction, but this happens a lot to firefighters. They fall through the rafters, through the ceiling, and they end up on the floor below them, and they usually break multiple, multiple ribs. And so this gentleman, he was working on the rafters, fell through the ceiling, broke six ribs, 
punctured his lung, was in extreme pain, expected. They told him that the shortest recovery time would be six weeks, but probably it would be 10, 12, 14 weeks before he would be recovering. He was back to work in three weeks because he was patched on June 17th. You could see all the bruising, that's blood that has dried up under the surface of the skin from all the bleeding. From the 17th to the 23rd, that's just six days. Six days after patching, look at how much cleared up, how much restoration and regeneration of the tissue has taken place. His body has also detoxed him. What's happened here is that blood, that's not, you know, dead blood doesn't serve anyone. So your body is now through urination, defecation, and perspiration, your body is detoxing from those things and it's replacing the damaged tissue with the original tissue. Here you have 13 days after, 13 days after starting on the patches, he went from looking like this to this. He was back to work in three weeks. Mind you, he had a punctured lung. That's showing you how rapid this restoration can take place. Um, this is another thing I wish that it wasn't so common and pervasive for both adults and children. This is a six-year-old I had in our, on my team. I had some a child that was four years old in Canada who lost his fingertip. Doctor said uh, when the mom you know showed up with the fingertip on the ice, she said, He's, I'm not going to bother and attach that because it's just going to go black. It's going to die and it's going to fall off you know, he lost his fingertip and she already, luckily, she already had the patches in her possession. So she said, just stitch it back on. We'll worry about the rest later. She didn't even bother to tell him that she was going to put stem cell activation patches on him. So they sewed back the fingertip and she put the X39 and 49 right around his, his little finger. And just like this child who was six, not only did it grow back, but even the fingernail grew back. It was really quite extraordinary. We see that time and time again, not only with children, but also there was an elderly gentleman who his daughter got started on the patches and then he accidentally severed his, his index finger. The doctor told him it was going to be probably the better part of a year or two before he was completely healed because he was in his late 70s. And he went back to the doctor 10 days later and the doctor couldn't believe that his finger was almost completely healed. Um, I can send you the video to that if you're interested in that. Let me keep track of the time. We got four more minutes to finish this. So I'm just going to rapidly go through. You can see this gal, how here she's having radiation treatments. You can see her skin's in pretty bad shape. You can see that after from June 6th to June 30th, look at the countenance of her face. That's a significant improvement. Wouldn't you agree? This is a lady who had a brain scan. She was an elder lady, 77 years old. And the red is showing us all the inflammation in the brain scan. And session one, you see she has a lot of inflammation throughout the brain. Second session, all the inflammation is gone. Third session, all the inflammation is gone. And she has continued improvement. That's just my little reminder for my next session. All right, we'll try and get through most of this then. So the thing to note is with the mother cell activation patch, you'll get better sleep, you'll get more energy. And this gentleman over here, he had four years that he had had to stop hiking because he had a knee that required, his doctors told him required knee replacement surgery and he didn't wanna do that. He got on this life-saving technology. And as you're aware, he was then able to go back because not only did the pain go away, but his cartilage, his muscle, his tendons, his ligaments, everything was rebuilt inside of his neck, inside of his you know, knee. And he was able to go back to hiking where he went to Mount Huron, the peak, and he was able to hike to 14,003 feet of elevation. And he's like, thank goodness for this life-saving technology. So these are all the celebrities. I don't want to get too much into the name dropping, but all the big name stars and so forth. And whether they're Olympic athletes like Michael Phelps or they're professional athletes like Serena Williams and David Beckham and the Chargers during the Super Bowl, they used art patches. The entire team got started on the patches. So um, we have everyone. This is available to everyone. No one, you know, no one, this is not being kept from anyone. So my question to you now would be, what if you could be a younger, more youthful you? You would get stem cell activation greater energy, greater mental clarity, faster wound healing, younger 
obviously with that comes you looking younger because your stem cells don't care about your vanity, about your beauty. It just cares about damaged cells. The only reason we have fine lines and wrinkles is because of oxidative stress, which causes oxidative damage, which creates lines and your cells, your stem cells just recognize Oop, damaged cells. We got to replace those. It increases muscle, bone, tissue, nerve regeneration, and improves your sleep. Wouldn't that be great to be able to benefit from all those things? Like Betsy and myself, that we're already benefiting from these things. So if anything were possible, what is the one thing you would choose to experience differently with your health or in the health of someone that you love and care for? And what difference would that make if perhaps if that loved one that you had was no longer in a wheelchair, if that lo loved one that you had maybe wasn't blind and now could see, or someone who constantly has to prick their finger to check their insulin levels. Maybe they don't have to do that anymore. They can back off and in some cases totally eliminate the need for meds to regulate their insulin because as their pancreas and all of the organ systems are repaired and regenerated, you restore your health and well-being. And part of the key thing is that when you're on these patches, your body is behaving like a 30, 35 year old body because you're adding 33% additional stem cells. As I said before, a 30 year old has 50% of their original stem cells that turn off and 50% remain. When you're 60 plus, you have 90% that turn off. The moment we apply this patch, if you're 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 plus years old, 10% plus 33, that's 43 to 50%, which is the same level as a 30 year old. So that's why you have this very significant repair. So this gets into the pricing, which we can talk about later. I have to start this other YouTube, but I can send this presentation to you, Betsy, so that you can share this with whomever it is that you are interested in sharing this with. If you need my help you know, for that presentation or you want me to be there and support to answer any questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to be there with you. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. You're you're very welcome. And I don't know if anybody's going to show up to this 2 p.m. Sometimes people are here right on the dot a few minutes before, sometimes five or 10 minutes later. So let's I'd love to answer any questions that you might have. And then if you'd like, I can go ahead and I can start the other presentation so that you could see what both you'll see the differences of the two. But now you'll have two presentations to share and you can pick whichever one you feel most comfortable with. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So what questions do you guys have? Your story. My story. Okay, what do you want to know about my story? What, what made you want to get on them? What made you, what made me, okay, so the, the way I got started on the patches, I've been writing this book with Dr. Nirmala based on her medical thesis. And so we started writing in August of 2021. Um, and so now fast forward to basically the end of May of 2022 and her and I have always traded. It's like, okay, any scientific papers that we come across, any studies, any um, clinical trials that are going on that maybe our patients have advantage of, we, we discuss those things. Let me let Carol in. So as we're sharing different research studies, clinical trials, conferring with each other with different things that are going on with our patients, hey, what, what would you do with somebody like this? This is the thing that they're presenting with. I'm thinking about this. What would you do? So then she came to me and because um, every week our writing our writing schedule is usually Wednesday evenings. Mm -hmm. And then she's in Australia, so she's 17 hours ahead of me. So as she we, we started this particular writing session, and she says, hey, Lillian, she goes, might you be interested in participating in a research study? There's a group of scientists that are going to Belize, and they are going to be um, testing stem cell activation patches. And I said, stem cell activation patches? She said, I said, yeah, she said, yes. And I said, oh my gosh, yeah, absolutely. When are they planning on going? She says in August of 2022. So I said, I will clear my calendar definitely to participate in that. And how quickly can I get my hands on those stem cell activation patches so that not only can I use them, but I go, I have, my patients are in much more dire need than I am for the, you know, for the patches. I have a lot of people that reach out to me on their way to the emergency room, in the emergency room, or they're in either pediatric intensive care, cardiac intensive care. They'll be in ICU or they've been hospitalized for a while in the hospital. So they're in much more critical condition than I was. 
So she said, oh, let me get that information to you and let me get back to Nima, Dr. Nima and let him know that you're interested in participating in the research, research studies. So that's how I began. And so I never tried to patch her anything. You know, I knew that Dr. Nirmala is not a flake. She had a great deal of credibility. We both are associated with many different scientists and research studies and things like that. So as soon as she told me about it, I'm like, I got to get my hands on it, not only to be a participant in whatever capacity they might need me in that research study, but also to use that as a tool. And so then the rest was history. I immediately got started on the patches. I did not start on the patches until June, because again, my patients who come to me are much more urgent. You know, sometimes I'll, for example, one of the people who reached out right away was one of my friends, uh, Duke, his father had had back surgery. He had a three inch incision at the base of his spine and it was for severe sciatica pain. And prior to the sciatica pain, he had from zero being no pain, 10 being unbearable pain. He said that his pain was like an eight or nine to almost unbearable, which is why he agreed to have that sciatica pain uh, surgery. And he was 91 at the time. He's now 93. So he agreed to the surgery. He had the back surgery. And now three days after post-op, he's in agonizing pain. And Duke legitimately is very concerned that his dad may not make, he may, this might take his dad out because he said he came home. He's been home for three days from, from the hospital. He has not slept at all. And he's just moaning and groaning day and night. The narcotics, the pain meds that they have him on, which there's several, none of them are working. So he reached out to me on a Sunday afternoon. Sunday, Sunday morning at 11, he had taken his dad to the doctor. And he said, you got to give him something. He hasn't slept in three days. He says his pain level is a level 15. It's excruciating, unbearable. And the doctor said, okay, I'm going to give him an injection. It should take about 30 minutes to an hour for this to take. So they gave him the injection, sent him home. So now Duke reaches out to me. It's like three o'clock and he's like, it's been three hours and he's in, still in agonizing pain. That shot, I don't know what the shot was, but it didn't help at all. He says, do you have everything I need? So I want to put those stem cell activation patches on my dad. Do you have everything he needs? I said, yes. Duke lives in Santa Clarita, which is an hour and a half north, north of me, like North LA. And I'm in Orange County, which is the next county south. So he headed on over, came, picked up the patches. We got him started on a, on a gold pack. And then he went back. I said, as soon as you get back home, call me. And that way I can tell you where to put the patches on your dad. Cause we can't just do traditional placement of the patches. Cause your dad is post-op. So we need to, we need to tailor it to him. So nine o'clock at night, we're on a zoom call and I put uh, the Fantastic Five, but I also put the Ice Wave, which is the patch that turns off your pain receptors, which is as powerful. The research shows that it's as powerful as hospital grade morphine. There's no medicine in it. It's just turning off your pain receptors. So while the other patches that do do mm -hmm. repair and regeneration, that's just turning off your pain receptors so that you have the relief, you can relax. And then there's the, one of the patches reduces your cortisol and your C-reactive protein so that your body can repair more quickly. So at nine o'clock at night, we started him on the patches. And normally the patches are put on first thing in the morning, but he hadn't slept in three days and he's in agony. He's a 91 year old man. That's a very delicate situation. So I said, okay, it's nine o'clock at night. Normally I would have you call me, uh, report back to me six hours later because he's post-op, but I'm not gonna have you wake up at three in the morning you know, to, to, to let me know. Um, instead, why don't you get in touch with me at midnight and then let me know what his inflammation levels like, um, what his pain levels like, and let me know if he's still awake or if he's asleep. And so at midnight, I got a text from Duke and he said, he finally fell asleep. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Okay. He got relief. So I said, okay, you're supposed to wear the patches for 12 hours. So it's supposed to be technically from 9 PM to 9 AM. Again, there's always an except people like everything to be the same for everybody, but that's not possible. So I said, we have to, you know, adapt to what his needs are. So technically he's supposed to remove these at 9 a.m. in the morning. I go check on him at 9 a.m. in the morning. Do not wake him up if he's asleep. Just check on him to make sure that he's sleeping, that he's breathing, that everything is going well. 
And then every hour after 9 a.m., just check on him. And then once he's awake, then report back to me what is what his inflammation, what his pain level, and what was his sleep like. So he's like, okay. So the next morning at 1130, I got a text message. Um, he's doing much better. His his pain level is down over 50%. He, he feels much better because he finally got a good night's sleep. I said, okay, great. So we're going to put the patches back on again, but instead of waiting till 9 p.m., we put the patches earlier because we were trying to roll back, roll it back so that now he's putting the patches on earlier and earlier so that over the course of the next week, he's starting to wear the patches during from the morning until the evening. So that was Sunday night at 9 p.m. that we started him on the patches. By Wednesday, he was walking with two walking sticks. He had two walking sticks that he was walking with and he was getting around pretty good. By that Friday, he ditched his walking sticks and he was walking with a cane. And then by the following Sunday, just eight days later, he told Duke and Duke, because Duke kept on following up with me every 24 hours. He's like, wow, today, you know, he's walking with two walking sticks. Wow, today he ditched the walking sticks. He's walking with a cane. That was Friday. On Sunday, he he, he uh, texted me and he said, wow, today dad woke up and he said, he goes, you know what, Duke? I'm feeling pretty great. I have almost no pain and I just feel great. And I said, wow, that's a 91 year old, just a week of being on the patches. So that showed me that it didn't matter what age the person was. Um, really the patches are gonna work on your body and it's gonna reset it based on your original blueprint from conception. So I just, I had people that were at that degree of severity when I first started. So the first three weeks I didn't put the patches on myself cause I kept on running out of patches cause people kept on driving driving from Southern California, from San Diego up to here, from the Inland Empire, from Santa Clarita, they would, you know, they'd reach out and say, hey, I saw what you were talking about on Facebook or on your YouTube channel. Can I pick those up from you like today? And I'm like, come on over. I've got everything you need. So I kept on running out of patches. Like I bought a thousand dollars worth of patches that first week. I was, they were gone in like five days. So I had to order more. And I didn't really know how many I needed to keep on hand. So I didn't run out. So I'm like, okay, the second week, I ran out again. I'm like, okay, my next order, I need to order enough for, I'm going to order another $1,500 worth. Let me see how much I'm going to need. I'm going to hold my five so I can use these five patches and the energy enhancer. And then the rest will be for patients. And then I've never looked back. Then it, my whole objective was learning everything I could about each one of all 11 patches. And then mastering for the systems of the body because you don't have to do it by organ if you pay attention to the systems of the body where the ideal patch placement is for someone who anything anything has to do, like something respiratory i know just put them i've had people who are about to be put on a respirator i tell them take the five patches put them all on their chest or have your loved ones you know it's like they can pick up sometimes we can coordinate if someone lives in the same zip code we can coordinate where they can go pick them up from that person. And then that person can bring them to the person in the hospital. I haven't had to talk to doctors, interestingly enough. Usually as soon as we give them the 90 scientific studies, they see that they're FDA registered class one medical devices. And there's over 90 clinical studies. There's no medicine. There's So then they're like, yeah, they can, it doesn't matter. ER rooms, post-op, pre-op, during surgery. I've had, I've not had one in private hospitals public hospitals or even military hospitals, VA hospitals that have said, no, every single one. I don't know if that will change in the future. Maybe it's just a matter of, of numbers, but so far so good. And so that's how I got started on the patches. Any other questions? Betsy? Somebody had vertigo. Somebody has vertigo? Yeah. Okay. So when it comes to any, so the first thing that not only I have to say, but Dr. Stacy, you know, the different holistic care practitioners will always say, we make no medical claims because these are general wellness products. So none of the studies were done with people who all had vertigo. The people in the studies, there were anywhere from 20 to 120 people per study. And everyone had all sorts of different conditions. 
That being said, again, they're general wellness products. So for someone who has vertigo, that is obviously something is going on with the inner ear of that person that needs to be rebalanced. So since they haven't had vertigo since birth, you know, they haven't had vertigo their entire lives, the fact that they acquired this condition of vertigo is letting us know that all we have to do is activate their original blueprint, their original master cells, and vertigo and anything else that's out of order, that's not in alignment, will come back into place because the patches are designed to work systemically. So whatever organ system, like in this case, it's the auditory system that is off balance, which is causing uh, that vert the feeling of vertigo in the body. So as you begin to wear the patches, our wild card is we don't know how quickly it will happen. We have people like Carol who 10 minutes after she put the patches on, and I'll let you hear from her if she's available to come on camera. I'm going to ask her to unmute and then we'll go ahead and we'll start that other presentation after we answer your questions. Carol, are you able to come on? If she's able to come on, Carol started on Tuesday, August 8th, her and her sister started, they ordered their patches on the 3rd, they received them by Tuesday the 8th, we got them started on the patches. And Carol had been suffering, suffering for 18 months with atrial fibrillation. And her doctor had said that she was going to have to have a defibrillator installed in November of 2023, just this last November. She also was uh, had been afflicted with shingles that attacked her right eye and was causing a great deal of pain. And she had a lot of nerve damage from the shingles. And that was extremely bothersome for her. And the first day that we started her on the patches, she, within 10 minutes, her heart rate, and she wears she was wearing a pulse oximeter. So it, a pulse oximeter not only takes your pulse, but also tells you what your pulse oxygen rate was. And her oxygen, uh, her ox rate was like 92% at the time. And I think, hey, there she is. Are you there, Carol? Yeah. Do you want to share? Take it from here. Uh, I, I had to take a little break. What, what did you say? And I can fill in. Yeah. So I told them about how you, you received your patches and you were, you started wearing them on Tuesday, August 8th. And I told them about how you had the shingles that was attacking and really created a lot of nerve damage in your right eye, created a yeah. great deal of pain for you and the atrial fibrillation, how your, your cardiologist said, we're going to have to put up, you know, not a pacemaker, but a defibrillator in yeah. November of 2023. Yeah. And in 10 minutes, tell them what happened after you applied the patches. What happened to your heart rate? What happened to your, what did you feel and notice? It was normal. My heart, when you have fibrillation, the heartbeat is all over the place. And you can, you can tell, you, you can't breathe, you can hardly walk around. It, and I'm a very active person, so it, it put me down. And as soon as I put that patch on, it within 10 minutes, it all normalized and it's been normal since. So I, the doctor, the doctor even put it in the, uh, my, my records. <laughs> I told him what I was doing and, and then we didn't, didn't do a, uh, defibrillator, didn't yeah. install one. Yeah. So, and, the, and then tell them what happened within 24 hours to your scalp and your pain level from the shingles. Oh, the pain level and everything from the shingles went away. There's a little bit of neuropathy once in a while. But the, the patches are what keeps things healing really well. It's it's amazing, amazing. Yeah. Because my eye with from the shingles, my eye was all purple, and uh, I couldn't see out of it very well, and this it was all painful and everything, and that all went away. Yeah. So patches work. Yeah. And the first twenty four hours, I'll never forget. She said, "Yeah, my scalp just relaxed." Yes. What a relief. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness for that. That, you know, you you know, the scalp was so tight and then now it just relaxed. Yeah. What yeah. a relief. big and, difference. And the shingles pain, it wasn't like an overnight thing where a hundred percent of it was gone, but she experienced a significant amount. And the studies show that you have 50 to a hundred percent relief. Some people get a hundred percent relief. It yeah. depends. It depends what it is your body is, you know, struggling with. So in her case, she had over 50% relief and it's like she had that great relief and then it just got better and better and better and better. And as you probably can tell, both Carol and I are over 50 years of age. <laughs> A couple of <laughs> years over. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I, you know, I used to think, well, maybe the people that were younger or maybe the people that are older are going to respond better because of age. 
Not true. Doesn't matter if it's a four-year-old. Doesn't matter if it's like my oldest patient is going to be 101 in September. And she was in a hospital bed when she, I can probably pull a picture of her. And she was in a hospital bed and now she's out of the hospital and doing so much better at 101 years of age. And so this works on all mammals because as humans, we're mammals. Does that make sense? Oh, it's fabulous. Yes, it does work. <laughs> and That's... you've been such a big help in explaining everything to us. So thank you. It's a win-win. <laughs> when yes betsy do you and your friends have any other questions or do you want me to go ahead and go into the presentation i want to make sure we answer all your questions i think we're ready for the presentation okay so let's do that okay so here we go okay so here we are talking about cell activation patches we're going to talk about the mother cell activation patch comes in a, this is called a sleeve, which is basically just a special envelope that's made of cardboard, protects it from light because these are light activated by your own body's uh, light. And I love my cute little guy climbing up your DNA here. <laughs> and so we're going to give you our disclaimer. The patches are not intended to treat, prevent, or cure any disease because we do not heal, cure, treat, or diagnose, nor do we offer protocols because as you may or may not be aware, only pharmaceuticals can do that, whether by prescription or over the counter. The suggestions do not replace the diagnosis and treatment by a qualified licensed healthcare professional. I strongly recommend you consult with your doctor concerning your specific health challenge and treatment needed. No medical claims are being made with the suggestions here. With that being said, we've had a little change um, the last uh, quarter of last year because we are our products are made in FDA uh, compliant and registered facilities. And so this they come and visit us every other year. And this last fall, they took a different position. So the US Food and Drug Administration took a new position that all claims surrounding stem cells and healing, even those from natural products, will be regarded as drug claims. So the FDA also asserts that claiming that the use of light to elevate peptides such as GHKCU, which is what our trademarks all show in all 90 clinical independent studies, even though we're using our own body's light, it's not light from outside, they're still saying it's inappropriate for a general wellness product. So as a result, we can't say that, although we have 90 clinical studies to show that. And those 90 studies were done in the United States, in Europe, and in Asia. So moving forward, I will tell you what we can say and what we can no longer say so that you have the full picture. Does that make sense? Okay, so it's good to know that all of this is possible because roll back the hands of time to 1973, over 50 years ago, and Dr. Lauren Picard discovered that GHKCU copper peptide activated 33% of previously dormant stem cells turning genes to a younger, healthier state. So that brings us to the question, what are stem cells? Well, stem cells are pluripotent cells. And some, some of you are going, well, thanks for nothing, because I don't know what pluripotent mean, means, and most people don't. And so let me break it down for you. Pluri comes from the word plural, as opposed to singular. Potent comes from potentials. So pluripotent just means that there's many potentials. And so each one of the 23,688 genes that you were conceived with at conception, they're all pluripotent. That means that they're the master smart cells. They have all of the programming to make everything in your body from a cardiac cell to an enterocyte, a gut cell, fat cell, red blood cell, bone cell, doesn't matter, a nerve, 100% of the programming is there. And at conception, your mother's ovum united with your father's sperm, and now you had complete information to the tune of almost 24,000 genes and stem cells. And that begins this rapid multiplication and cell division to form you in your mother's womb into an embryo. Later, you grow into a fetus. And then before you know it, at 36 to 40 weeks, you're a newborn baby. And now you're here. We take a few trips around the sun. Now we're all on this Zoom call from all over the United States, right? sometimes all over the world. So the thing to note is 
as I mentioned before, when you're 30 years old, 50% of your original stem cells turn off. Five years before that, when you're just 25, there are these little organelles called fibroblasts that they begin to decline in their production of collagen, collagen being the number one building block protein. It's not important to know what fibroblasts are. It's just important to note that, oh, wow, when you're barely 25 years old, already something in the production of collagen is starting to go down. So no wonder by the time you're 30, 50% of those original stem cells start to turn off. And by the time you're 60, a shocking 90% turn off. So for every decade of life after the age of 30, you go from 50% to 40 years old, 60%, 70, 80, all the way to 90% of those original master smart cells turn off. And then the last 10% of those stem cells are going to take you to the finish line, you know, for the rest of your life until you apply a cell activation patch on your body. So most of us are not used to talking about stem cells or understanding, wrapping our brains around exactly what does a stem cell do for me? So I like to equate it to your home because everybody lives in a home, right? So we have our home, which is our, our housing unit. And your body is a temporary housing unit for your spirit, for your energy, for your personality. And if you look inside the human body, inside we have these master smart cells, which are just like printer ink cartridges. If you look at your copier, you have printer ink cartridges shown here on the right. And when you have 100% of the ink, wow, when they make a copy, the copy is indistinguishable from the original. But when you've used up 70, 80, 90% of the ink and any of these ink cartridges, now the copies are faded versions of the original. Big difference from having 100% of your ink, right? Even 50% of your ink. And that's what happens with our stem cells. Now your body goes to re replace those damaged cells with new ones, and it's not a crisp copy like it used to be. So that brings us to how do these patches work? It's actually pretty simple, but pretty fascinating. The moment you apply a cell activation patch on your skin, anywhere on your body, the moment it touches, it's going to activate GHKCU copper peptide, which is what turns on this particular protein, which is this rapid cellular repair, because the moment you put the patch on, 33% of all those dormant stem cells, boom. Now they're all like these construction workers. They're like doing a remodeling job. Hey, it's like, she's got something going on in her heart. Oh, she's got something in her pancreas. Hey, she's got something. Hey, she's, she got banged around a few times. You know, she had a couple car accidents or she used to play soccer and hit her head a few times and have, has a little bit of damage up there. We need to go replace that. And so those cells go to replace and repair and regenerate whatever's needed inside of the body. Your smart cells are called smart cells for a reason. Those stem cells know how to prioritize, oh, the heart, the liver, the brain, the lungs, you can't live without those. Uh, you broke your toe, we're gonna send energy to fix that broken toe. But if you have something going on in your heart, it'll send it first to the heart and it'll send less energy to the toe. It'll repair everything, but it knows how to prioritize. So they are in the true definition of the word smart cells. And if you touch your body, and all of you right now, touch your arm, touch your face, touch the back of your neck. You're going to feel that it's warm. That's about 98.7 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Some of us run a little cooler, 98.6, 98.5. Some of us are a little hotter, 98.7, 98.8, 98.9. But it's in that range. That is evidence of the infrared light that's inside of your body. So this is a picture showing you the infrared light, and you're probably going, well, where does that light come from? It's a great question. That light comes from the 56 trillion cells that you have in your body. Every single one of them has electrons. If you look at the blood, the cerebral spinal fluid that flows down the base, you know, from your brain all the way down your spinal column up the front, those have electrolytes. Electrons and electrolytes are packets of electricity and they're in the infrared light band when they're measured. And so the moment you put a patch on your skin, 
now it's that infrared light will bounce off of that crystal lattice because that crystal lattice is going to act like a mirror and it's going to reflect back up to four inches deep inside your body. If you look at a diamond crystal, because these, these crystals act like a diamond crystal, when I shine a light on a diamond crystal, all the different colors reflect back like a mirror to my eyes. And I see all these lights, you know, sparkling back at me, right? Same thing happens when I put this patch on my skin. It mirrors back my own infrared light four inches deep through muscle, tendons, ligaments, bones, into the bone marrow at the cellular level to do this rapid regeneration. That process of that light reflecting back is called photobiomodulation. It's a form of phototherapy. So let's talk about phototherapy, which has been defined as the use of ultraviolet light for its healing effects. And these light wave patches have been specifically developed to reflect like a mirror, reflect back the infrared and visible light bands back onto the skin where the patch has been placed. Supported by normal electrodermal skin conductance, the human body gives off a number of little particles biochemically, including particulate release, particulates are just tiny little particles, gas emissions, ultraviolet, infrared, near infrared, and visible spectrum light. That then stimulates that area of the skin, producing improved physiological effects. So variations on this phototherapy have been used at least for 100 years. This was cut out, this particular, these two paragraphs were cut out of a research study. Um, since then, I have discovered that it's been over 100 years, and I'm going to share that with you next. So in this 100 plus years, we've discovered that there's been little evidence of any kind of negative side effects. So that brings us to the question, what are in these patches? Because you can see that there's a little white dot there, right? So the, that little white dot, it's not a white dot. It's organic sugar crystals, organic salt crystals, organic hydrogen, oxygen, water crystals, and an organic proprietary blend of organic amino acids. They've all been set to a very specific frequency and they're arranged in a very specific geometrical lattice grid work. It's like a sacred ge geometrical pattern, okay? And as I mentioned to you guys before, it's all based on Bible codes. So the first documented use of photobiomodulation was in 18, not 19, 1895. It's well over 100 years ago. Just eight short years later, Niels Ryberg Finson won the Nobel Prize for his research on using red light to treat tuberculosis of the skin. And what he discovered in his experiments with mice, he found that exposing them to red light reduced both their symptoms and mortality rate from lupus vulgaris. Now, just as Neil Rayberg Finson was very motivated to get a solution for lupus vulgaris, I told you about my story, how I was very motivated because it wasn't an option to stay with brain damage and that horrible neck pain that was really excruciating, neck pain, back pain, and leg pain. He was motivated because he had lupus vulgaris. So he was able to find a solution to the thing that was plaguing him with the chains of pain, if you will. Does that make sense? So I want you to notice these are FDA registered facilities that these are made in. Notice that these patches are non-transdermal. Non-transdermal means nothing transfers into the dermis, which is the skin. They're non-invasive. They're organic, holistic, FDA compliant, class one medical devices under the general wellness category. As I mentioned before, we manufacture these products in FDA registered facilities in the US and our facility in Ireland is registered with the Irish Medicine Board. We manufacture our products to the same standards as a medical device. And in fact, our facility in Ireland is ISO 9001 and ISO 13485. And those are quality standards per David Schmidt, our scientist and inventor. Super important. I would never tell anybody what to do. And um, I would never tell you to get started today on the patches. What I would tell you to really highly consider if you want to take care of your body, whether you decide to get started on the patches or not, keeping hydrated is really the bedrock, the foundation of your well being. And most people are dehydrated. And it's important that you drink 50% your weight in fluid ounces of water. And so, for people who 
who every now and then I have someone, person here or two that will say, oh, well, that's going to be a problem. I'm like, well, that's kind of a deal breaker because whether you do the patches or not, that is, you need to detox your body and your body's supposed to be primarily made of water. A baby that comes out of the mother's womb, you know, you come out of that juicy environment, that amniotic sac, right? And a baby's about 82% water. The average American is about 70% water and the average 60 year old is about 55% water. But your DNA, if you look at a DNA strand from conception all the way until you go to the end, your DNA is 92% water. That's the primary structure that holds up your DNA is in fact water. When you become dehydrated, you start to compromise the integrity of your DNA. And things in the body begin to shrink when you're dehydrated. So let's, so now that you know about the 92% composition of, of your DNA is primarily made up of water, 92%, it makes sense that your DNA is an energy amplifier. So look at this picture because few people have seen what DNA looks like hydrated versus dehydrated. This is somebody who's drinking their 50%, their fluid weight and ounces of water. So if you're 150 pounds, 150 divided by two is 75. That's 75 ounces of water. It's actually not that much. Uh, 75 ounces of water, if you were to measure Arrowhead water bottles or um, Arrowhead sparklets, they're about 15.9 ounces. That's five of those a day. That means you can take two in the morning, two in the afternoon, and one at night. Very easily doable. You don't have to drink the entire bottle at a time. You just have to drink till you're satisfied. And then it's better to drink two, three ounces an hour than it is to drink a bottle, you know, force a bottle down. Never, never drink beyond the point of satisfaction. You don't want to be full. You want to be satisfied. So here you have the waters properly holding up the DNA strand. When you get 2% dehydrated, you feel parched. You feel thirst in your mouth. So already your brain is beginning to shrink and the proteins are starting to fold inside of your body. That's one of the perils of being dehydrated. When you are dehydrated, your proteins begin to fold. And I don't know about you, but your proteins are like you and me. When our proteins have enough water, we can stand tall, straight, and erect, and we can get the job done. But if I were to be, you know, if I were to be ordered to be folded in half where my head was down at my knees, I could not do this presentation for you. I could not bathe myself. I could not clothe myself. I could not feed myself because good luck being upside down, trying to eat and to swallow and to get the food to go against the gravity and end up in my stomach. I'd be very hard pressed. There's, I wouldn't be able to drive a car. Um, there, I wouldn't be able to go downstairs. I wouldn't be able to go upstairs. You are basically handicapped. And that's what happens to your proteins when you get dehydrated. They fold in half. They don't work. They actually disrupt a cycle in the body called the Krebs cycle. You don't need to remember that. You just need to know when you're dehydrated, you're starting to feel thirst. Oh, I got to reach over. I got to drink. I just need to drink a few ounces of water, rehydrate myself because then my proteins can pop, pop back up and they can work properly. 8% dehydration, your DNA starts to unravel. You can see here that this is not standing tall, straight and erect. You can see how your DNA is starting to fall apart. It literally starts to unravel. And at 10% dehydration, because your brain is very hydrophilic, it's very water loving. When you are at 10% dehydration, you can't think a thought anymore. You lose your mind. And at 12% dehydration, it's a hard shutdown. Your body dies. Your body cannot survive in 12% dehydration because everything inside your body is like cement. Nothing can move. And so everything shuts off. Very dangerous. Very important to drink your water, 50% your weight in fluid ounces. So we're gonna talk about how long are you gonna wear these patches? Cause you're gonna put a brand new set of patches every day, every morning, 12 hours on and then 12 hours off. So just like anything else, this is a new habit. You wanna set up systems to make it easy for you to implement this and to remember to put them on. Cause when you first get the patches, you're like, oh, okay, I gotta remember to put these on. So what I recommend, you can do whatever you want. I would never tell anybody what to do. But what I find is that not only for myself, but for everyone else that I've instructed and guided through this process, it makes sense to keep them in your bathroom close to your toothbrush. I like to put mine to the left-hand side because I reach over 
you know, to the right to get my toothbrush from the medicine cabinet. And on the left-hand side, we read from left to right, right? So by having them on the left, as I'm brushing my teeth, I'm seeing my patches. I'm like, got to put my badges on. So I go do my business, take a shower. And after I've taken a shower or a bath, then I apply my patches when I'm nice and dry. And I have an alarm that goes off at a certain time in the morning saying, put your patches on, right? Apply patches. And then I have another reminder 12 hours later. So for me, it's like 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now at 10 p.m., I get an alarm that says remove patches. If I don't have that on, I will forget because oftentimes I'm busy talking to a friend on the phone. I'm I, some, If it's a weekend, I'm out with my friends. I'm not going to take them out in public. So it's good to have a reminder to remove the patches because since you don't feel them, you'll forget, you'll go to sleep. And the next morning, when you go to put on another set of patches, you're like, oh, I forgot to take my patches. No big deal. You know, if you wear your patches for 24 hours, you'll grow a third leg, your skin will turn purple. You'll pop out not just a third eye, but a fourth, fifth. And... No, none of that will happen. <laughs> none of those things will happen. What will happen is all you have to do is because you signaled your body 24 hours, now you have to match the 24 hours that you signaled your body. Like you have these floodlights where they're doing all this rapid repair. You're going to have to give them a 24 hour, you know, vacation, so to speak. You're going to have to allow your parasympathetic nervous system to rest, repair, and restore. And then the following day, you would apply the patches starting in the morning again, let's say 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Your alarm goes off in the evening. Oh, that's right. Take off your patches. You discard them and move on to the next day. So you'll be doing that for the next 12 months, 12 hours on, 12 hours off for the next 12 months. Why do we recommend 12 months? Well, it's a great question. And the answer is very logical and very simple. Without being on the patches, your body is on a seven-year cycle to turn over all 56 trillion cells of the body to the tune of 2 billion turnover a day without activating your original master smart cells. When you're on the patches, everything is expedited, it's faster. So what would take normally seven years to turn over, replace and restore, now you're getting it done, depending on what organ it is, you're getting it done within days, hours, months, so that, over a 12 month period. Now, for example, your cardiovascular system, after six months of being on the patches, your cardiovascular system is going to be about eight to 10 years younger. And if you look at 12 months, now your cardiovascular system is 16 to 20 years younger. So all the different organs, the organ systems will have turned over so that the majority, if not all of the things that you had that plagued you, all those conditions will disappear and now your body is acting like a 16 to 20 year old more optimized body does that make sense so here i'm going to share with you just a couple testimonials of some people you can see the before and afters this was a gal who had scoliosis she had pretty severe scoliosis so much so that her shoulder blades are protruding and you could see that her right shoulder is lower than the left she had a significant amount of pain you can see she has a nicely cinched waist on the right, but not on the left. And um, her body favors the left over the right. She's kind of slanted this way. So after just wearing the 39 and ice wave, which is the one that turns off pain receptors after four weeks, mm -hmm. she had significant improvement. First of all, you can see how her, her spine is much straighter after just four weeks on the patches. You could see how her shoulders are almost even. You could see her shoulder blades, her scapulas are almost, almost normal because here they're protruding, here they're not. They're just protruding a little bit. And so she has a significant improvement in just four weeks. So yes, your bones can realign, can regrow. We've, I've seen spinal cords regrow back. I've seen discs regenerate and the cartilage in between um, regenerate. It, it's really... It really is amazing. It's really monumental. Here's another reminder. Remember to drink 50% your weight in fluid ounces from the time you get up until you go to sleep. Um, for ladies, I like to always point out because ladies, the majority of women out there are always looking for what can I do to you know lose weight? What can I do to increase my metabolism? Easy peasy free way to inc increase the speed of your metabolism is 
when you first wake up in the morning, when you first wake up in the morning, um, before you get out of bed, as soon as you sit up, reach over for room temperature water that you have in a glass bottle, and you begin to drink until you're satisfied, that jump starts your metabolism. It breaks the fast of having been hydrated or having eaten anything from the day before. Now your body starts to percolate and actually filter that through your system, sending that hydration throughout. Within 30 minutes, you're going to have to go to the bathroom again if your kidneys are working well. And then 30 minutes later, you'll go to the bathroom a second time and then you rehydrate again. And now your metabolism will go, oh, she's properly hydrating. We can, we can balance the body better now that we have the proper hydration. We don't have any proteins folded in half. And now you're off to the races. Okay. Okay. So here's a friend of mine, Barry. He was one of the first people, June 23rd, I started him on the patches and Barry had suffered for 18 arduous months with long haulers COVID. He got COVID really bad. His wife and him got COVID really bad. And then Barry had long haulers where he had hit, he would wake up every day with nausea, with headaches. He had low stamina. He had horrible fatigue and he, his insomnia was so bad for 18 months. This man did not sleep. It was really quite miserable and he was getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And so I called him up. I said, Barry, we got to get you started on the patches. And he said, yes, let's do it. So we ordered the patches. He received them on the 23rd. He said, I got my patches. Actually, he received them on the 22nd. And I said, let's get you started on the patches. And he hadn't been sleeping for 18 months. So I said, we're supposed to start these in the morning, but you haven't slept. So I want you to get a good night's rest. So we started him between three and five o'clock that afternoon on the 22nd. And I said, okay, Barry, tomorrow around this time, shoot me a text and let me know what your sleep was like. Let me know how you feel. And if you notice any changes. So on the 23rd, I got this, this, I'm sorry, on the 24th, I got this text and he said, Hey, Lillian, just a note. Don't know if it's a placebo or if the stem cell activation patches work that quick or what, but I had really good sleep, a little better sleep than other nights. I fell asleep quicker. Today, this is a guy who had no stamina, horrible fatigue. He goes, today, I'm just on a high. I'm ecstatic. And Gwen sees that in me. And I feel really, really good physically. When I awoke this morning, no headache, no nausea. Yeah, it's just been a phenomenal day. So thank you. And I'll update you as we go along. Hope all is well. Thanks. Bye. I was so excited that my friend had relief, like significant relief. So since then, of course, he's in Canada. I'm here in California. So since then, I've I've patched hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, maybe over a thousand people who tested positive for COVID, who had high fevers, uh, you know, body aches, chills, nausea, um, some of them vomiting, some of them labored breathing. Just everybody is familiar with the signs of that terrible uh you know, diagnosis, right? And confirmed by a blood test. And I've had a few of them that weren't confirmed with a blood test because they never bothered to get, you know, the, the test to confirm that they had that, but it's walks like a duck, talks like, duck, talks like a duck. It probably is a duck. And so every single one of them within 24 hours of my putting the patches on them, the majority of their symptoms lifted within 24 hours and all of them made a, a very, very fast recovery. The person that I had, and I did do a video with him because I asked him a couple months later, I said, hey, would you come on and share how two hours and 17 minutes after I patched you, all of your symptoms, body aches, chills, fever, everything went away and he came on. So if, if Betsy, if you want me to share that with you, I can share it with you or you can find it in the Dame Lillian Stem Cell Activation Group in Telegram. I can post it in there and you can grab it from there, but it was incredible. He's the fastest. I've never had anybody recover as quickly as him. And he was someone who was about to retire from being in the military for like 42 years. So he's in his sixties. And just like that, I was like, wow, that was like a super fast recovery from that. So, and then after that, he's like, I got to get on these patches, like to be on them all the time. I'm like, absolutely. Okay. Here's another gal and we'll finish. There's of course you guys will um, probably, <clears throat> you haven't heard my testimonial, but Betsy can share with you that video uh, in um, that the wellness superheroes uh, interviewed me. But here we have Kathy McCarthy and Kathy McCarthy from the outside, it's pretty evident that, you know, she had aging skin, she had deep lines and wrinkles and grooves and so forth. Obviously some dehydration, 
but her bigger problem more, this was not so much a problem, her huge problem and pain point was that she was suffering from autoimmune disorder from, from three breast implants for 33 years. And she had a lot of things that were wrong in her body. And she was constantly looking for a doctor who could give her not only relief, but also repair and relieve her from this terrible condition. And our mutual friend, Annie, the coker, shared the patches with her and she lives in Nevada. And she started her on the patches in January of 2022. She was 62 years old at the time that she started on the patches. And in January, well, Annie told her, take a picture every 30 days so you can document your progress, which she did. So January, this is what her neck and her chest looked like. She would not take a picture of her face because she's like, I don't do that. She goes, I'll take a picture of my neck, my chest, but definitely not my face. March, you could see a significant improvement. She had a lot less wrinkles. June, no wrinkles. Little evidence of a little bit of lines you can see here, but that's it. And you could also tell a lot less freckling, a lot, a lot less oxidative stress, right? July, fine lines, wrinkles, all of it gone. What an incredible transformation. So I called her up in October of 2022 when she put this on her Facebook page. I said, Kathy, OMG. I go, I would love for you to, you know, first of all, I would love for you to come on to a Zoom like this so that I can share people your story of transformation. I want you to tell the whole story, not just what the pictures are showing, but share the whole thing. Because the pictures, you can't tell that one of the things that happened to her before she got on the patches was she had a skydiving accident and her friends left her for dead. When she hit the ground, they didn't think that they, they assumed that she must be dead. There's no way she could have survived it. So they didn't run to her. They just walked because they didn't think that she survived that, that thing. So she survived from a lot more just from the autoimmune disorder. So in my YouTube channel, you can see that interview. And I also have a short that's about one minute long that you can hear how she talks about that experience. When I asked her to do the interview, she would not give me a picture of her, of her face because she just did not take pictures. She was camera shy at the time. And after she did the interview, because I told her, when, once you do a Zoom like this, in a Zoom, I can't change my hair color or do any of that stuff. So people will see that your pictures match you and they'll see how rejuvenated, because she does not look like a, now she's 65. She does not look like a 65 year old. She looks like a 35, 40 year old. And they'll see that the Zoom matches the profile picture. And that came to pass after the video aired. She gave me her profile picture. Now I have it so I can share it with you guys. But you'll see that this picture matches. And Carol has seen her video. She can concur that it definitely matches her. It's like really amazing. This is my story. I already told you my story. So basically, you see the laundry list of everything I had wrong before. And these are all the things that were fixed after. So that's pretty awesome, including bald spots and things that I had because I got hit from behind. So I had a bald spot. I don't have a bald spot. I'm still growing hair back, believe it or not, a year and a half after being on these badges. Okay, here's the last person I'm gonna share with you uh, having to do with this testimonial, but you can see that she had a fold of flesh from the scoliosis that she suffered with since she was a teenager in high school, since puberty actually. And just two months after being on the patches, her back, the curvature of her spine has normalized. The fold of flesh is gone. And you can also see the texture of her skin has improved where a lot of the oxidative stress, a lot of the moles, a lot of the freckles, a lot of the angiomas have disappeared. And that was, and then she had no pain by the second month. So here's another friend of mine, Chris. He suffered, I should have a picture of him before, but he suffered from severe, for three years, he had esophageal cancer, less than six months on the patches. We started him on the patches uh, the 4th of July. And here he is in December. He was well enough that not only could he speak, um, he had his esophageal uh, implant that was, was supposed to be in there for life because he was supposed to have just like pureed food. He could now not only speak, but he could now eat solid food. So the doctors removed that in uh, this past November. And in December, he joined us for the uh, anti-aging uh, medicine conference in Nevada. And so you could see he's gained, he's, he's gained back the 30 weight pounds that he lost and he had lost through because of chemo, radiation, all of his eyebrows, all of his hair, all of his beard. Prior to chemo and radiation, he had a silver beard and 
silver hair. And here in February, just two months after this, because he's still bald, he had a little bit of fuzz and his, his beard was starting to grow out already in December. Here he is in February. And you could see not only did his beard and his hair start to grow back, but his original hair color, look at how dark brown his, his hair is now. So these are the lists. I'm going to read this because this is also a very exciting testimonial. This will be the last one. And then we'll wrap this up because we're just about done here. So my friend Lisa, who's also my neighbor, um, she's the one who got him started on the patches. And she says, here's Chris patching for 10 days. He had cancer, is now cancer free, but still has voice issues. This is only 10 days after starting his patches. And he's in his 70s. Hair is growing way faster than usual. Mouth ulcers down. He had mouth ulcers. The inside of his mouth was covered with ulcers where he could not talk. It was extremely painful. And the doctor said, there's nothing we can do for you for that. And so 50% were down and disappearing. Just 10 days. Pain in mouth down by 75% and disappearing. Skin looks good and repairing. His age spots were gone in 10 days. His daughter even noticed. He has loads of energy. And Lisa reminded him when we first talked about the patches, he couldn't talk for more than 10 minutes as he would fatigue and his mouth was very sore, very painful. She spoke to him today for 20 minutes. He was going a mile a minute. He said today, another friend said the same thing about him being able to talk longer. So he went to his doctor last Friday and they couldn't stop commenting on how vibrant, how energetic and overall just looked good. He said, he said, it wasn't the usual, hey, Chris, you're looking good. It was like, wow, Chris, what are you doing? Then Lisa mentioned to him that her sister's hand stopped shaking. And he said, oh, my gosh, I didn't even notice. So did mine. So his shaking hands went away. And he said, and oh, sleep. Haven't slept this deep in so long. So he's on the Fantastic Five, as well as Silent Nights. And then Lisa, as we all are, we're so humbled when we can see that we are able to provide relief and this life-saving technology. It's like really, it's exciting with people you don't know, but it's really exhilarating when it's somebody that you know that has been suffering from something for a while. And now they're like, the chains of pain have been broken. And it's like, wow, God really does answer prayers. Okay, so these are the bullet points. So I'm going to address two types of people, the people who just need to know the bottom line. Bottom line is we're activating a third of your stem cells. It's going to repair and restore everything. That's the short story. For those of us who are more detail oriented and we want to know exactly what is it doing, this is these are the bullet points. It's going to reset a third of your genes to a younger, healthier state. It's going to regenerate cells, replacing damaged cells. It's going to restore your collagen. It's going to rebuild scar tissue. It's going to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. It's going to increase your energy, your sexual libido, your antioxidants, your anti-aging, your anti-inflammation. It's going to give you pain relief, 50 to 100% within three to four minutes. It's going to improve hair growth. It's going to improve deeper, sounder sleep. It's activating GHKCU copper peptide, which turns on the P63 protein. So that's what this does. Where do you put it? doesn't matter, anywhere on your body, top to bottom, left to right, front to back. All the studies used traditional Chinese medicine acupuncture points. And because we have to have controls where everybody does the same thing, we had two spots. One of my favorite spots, this has been a favorite acupuncture point of mine for years and years and years. That's governing vessel 14, which if you take your, your dominant hand, you touch the back of your neck, you go to the base of your neck, the top of the spine, where you have that neck bump, that's where your brain stem branches out into your spinal column and it signals everything through your through your spinal cord. It signals the autonomic nervous system and every it sends everything to every everywhere in the body. Super powerful acupuncture point, which is why we'll put the mother's cell, the daughter, we'll put the fantastic five there in a row. Mm -hmm. Unless you have severe pain somewhere in your body, then we'll take those five, point to the pain, and we surround that area with those five patches, okay? The other point is three, three finger widths below your belly button. That's con conception vessel six. Anything related to digestion, to your endocrine system, your hormones, uh, your reproductive organs, we would put that three finger widths below the belly button. The patches work 
anywhere on your body from the top of your head to under your feet. It's your whole body is covered with skin. So it works in your entire body. Okay. And we offer, I always offer a patch placement call for anyone starting on the patches. So that's available to all of you. Okay. Another reminder this is the third reminder. Remember to drink 50% of your weight in fluid ounces of water. So when you're done with this presentation, go reach over for your water and drink it. Okay. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. I'm just suggesting it might be a good idea just to keep well hydrated. Okay. Okay. The thing to note, um, a lot of us have silent thieves in our environment. And I talk about this. I have entire episodes on my YouTube channel that talk about this because most people are not aware of how you have a thief that is robbing you blind, quite literally, because people go blind from this from a literal standpoint and they're unaware. And we have had this conversion from incandescent bulbs to LED lights over the last 10 years, where for the last five years in California, you can't buy incandescent bulbs in the stores. You can get them through Amazon, but now everybody has LED lights, not just in their electronics, but all the lighting fixtures in their kitchens, bathrooms, houses, all the offices, all the places of work, all the stores, all the post offices have fluorescent lights, LED lights, halogen lights. And people are not aware that your uh, exposure to those LED lights, it destroys your DHEA fountain of youth hormone. There's three things that happen. It destroys the fountain of youth hormone. It causes inflammation of the body and it increases insulin resistance, which is why now we hear of all these people who are have type 1 diabetes, type 2, type 3, people who are pre-diabetic, all these pregnant women who very rarely did you hear that pregnant women would get gestational diabetes. Now, the majority of pregnant women get gestational diabetes. It's because of all these LED lights. You can't get away from it. You get in your car, all LED lights. You get on a plane, all LED lights. You get on a boat, a yacht, a cruise, all LED lights. So you're bombarded with all these LED lights and it's it's taking a toll on your body. For those of us on the stem cell activation patches, however, we can unring the bell of damage and we can restore it. And there are things you can do like switching out from LEDs to infrared light incandescent bulbs and clear bulbs. Again, I have an entire episode on that if you're interested in learning more about that. It does help. So... Do you ladies have any other further questions? Because we have about three minutes left here. We can get, you know, you can, you can, this is not going to cost a million dollars, although a lot of people would pay a million dollars to restore their health. You know that regular stem cell treatments can go 8,000 to 25,000 a pop for the price of $5 a day retail. And you guys are going to have access to a doctor wholesale pack. So it's going to be significantly less. You can get started for as little as $5 a day. And on a doctor wholesale pack, you'll get 30% off. So I want to make sure I answer any questions that you guys might have. Any questions provoked by this information? Betsy? I have a friend that's just been tested for Alzheimer's. She had an MRI and she's waiting for the results. Do you have any statistics for patients with Alzheimer's? We don't have statistics for patients of any disease, any diagnosis, any condition. We have hundreds of testimonials, hundreds of testimonials. Um, the nice thing is once you get started on the patches, we'll add you to not only my team, I have two big groups. I have one group called uh, Dame Lillian Stem Cell Group, and then I have another one called the Evolve Team. In the Evolve Team and in my group, we have over 7,700, like almost 8,000 people that are on the patches. So there you can go in the search and you can put Alzheimer's. And you'll see all the Alzheimer's testimonials because we have many of them. And then uh, there's there's testimonials of people who have done like 15 minute or 30 minute testimonials. And then we also have people who've done written testimonials where they're like, oh my gosh, this is you know my mom first week. These are the questions I would ask her and she couldn't answer any of these. A week later, she's answering like six out of these 10 questions now. It's been 30 days and now she can answer all of the questions. So yeah, yeah, we've had for any condition you can think of pretty much, you just put in the symptom, you put the condition, you put the diagnosis, the injury, you know, uh, and you can get, we have tons of testimonials for Alzheimer's, dementia, and you may or may not know this, but Alzheimer's is called, uh, it's basically diabetes three. It's a form of diabetes, it's it's part part of the cause, not all, but part of the cause is high insulin levels, uh, high glucose, you have glucose spikes that 
damage the brain. Sugar is the brain's worst enemy. If you're going to take sugar, because for some people, I mean, I can say for some people, for all people, it's hard to curb sugar intake. You know, you have to be very strategic, I think. And, and I love, I'm myself, I've always loved sugar, but I've learned to curb the type of sugar that I take so I can still get the sweetness without, without taking refined sugar. So I used to crave like Snicker bars and Kit Kats and Twix bars and things like that. And now it's like, well, it's like now it's like not even on my radar, but I still have sweetness, but I have sweet that's good for me. I have organic maple bee. Uh, if you use organic maple bee syrup, you're getting amino acids and vitamin B and it has a low glycemic index. So it doesn't cause a glucose spike, but your brain is still getting, you know, you're still getting the benefit of those nutrients without the big glucose spike and without the inflammation inside of the body. Um, I hope that makes sense. I've Thank you very much. Yeah. So for somebody with Alzheimer's, the first thing I would do is switch out their sugar sources. Don't use any refined sugar. Definitely don't use the pink little saccharin bags because those cause cancer. Those are really horrible. You start to switch them over to using organic uh, maple syrup. Um, they'll still have the sweet taste. It's a little richer, more robust taste. Um, and that will still satisfy their sweet tooth. And they'll get the amino acids and they'll get the vitamin B, which is very beneficial to them. Yeah. Any other questions? You're on sweetness. What about stevia? I'm not a big fan of stevia. I really believe that you want to stay as close to God-made food as opposed to man-made food. I don't really trust those things that they're saying that are that are fructose um, because it's highly processed in order for it to get it into that into that you know powder form. So I don't really trust the stevias and all those kind of things. I really, you know, maple syrup came out of a maple tree. Uh, as long as it's not a Monsanto, you know, Aunt Jemima is fructose corn syrup. Corn syrup is the worst thing for you. So organic, you know, maple syrup, whether it's grade A, grade B, as long as it's organic, you're going to fare much better with that. But I stay away from the stevia as well. And the, fr the fructose, there's a lot of buying up a lot of those. Uh, there's so much stuff that's going on right now that Try to get it as close to how it came out of the ground. You want to you wanna stick as close to that as possible. Stay away from anything wrapped in plastic or boxes and things like that. Any other questions? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to close. Go ahead. We appreciate, we appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is the form that Betsy uh, will have to fill out or any of us have to fill out. And you can, yes, you can go to Betsy's site. If you go to Betsy's site, then of course, retail, you're gonna pay 450 for three sleeves. That's the 39, 49, and you can get two supportive patches. It's really important that each person has the package. You know, I like to always start people off with a gold or a diamond because those are the best values. You see here, one sleeve, which is one envelope. This is a 30 day supply. All of these have 30 patches in them. So the mother and the daughter, if you go to Betsy's site, it's $149, which is $5 a sleeve. Now you can get four for the price of two on a silver pack. So instead of three sleeves, you'll get four because they'll give you the fourth one free. Better than that is the gold pack where you pay for five and then you get three, that's $300 worth of uh, product that you get 300 wholesale. It's 149 each, right? So here you pay for the five, but you get three additional sleeves. So you only pay 499. That's, this is um, our most popular. And the other very popular one is for people who are like, okay, if I'm gonna be on this for the next 12 months, can I buy patches in advance so that I get the lowest price possible? And the answer is yes. Um, if you'd like to, you can buy three months of the Fantastic Five here on the diamond pack, and now you save 50%. So instead of it being almost $3,000, you pay $1,599. And instead of 19 sleeves, they give you two, two months bonus free. So it's like 10 to 12 sleeves. So you end up, instead of 19, you get 25 to 27 sleeves in the diamond pack. So the bottom line is, in order to get the, the Dr. Wholesale pricing, 
this has to be completed and entered into Betsy's back office. And then that's where you get that 30 to 50%. The only one with 50% discount is the diamond. The rest are all 30%. And um, she can text you and she can you can reply back answering all these fields in a text message. So I actually have a to get started text, which I can send to you, uh, Betsy. Or if you look in the Dame Lillian Stem Cell Telegram group, it's also in the Wellness Superheroes uh, group, the to get started text. Now you just cut and paste that and send them to each one of your interested parties. And then now you just copy and paste, you know, you can copy that information onto the form and enter it into the website. For those of you who are wondering, why not just enter it into the website? Well, that's a great question because logically it makes sense to just enter it into the site. However, because we're growing from 36 to 45 percent right now, month over month, sometimes there's too many people because it's like 82 countries. So there's too many people on the site at the same time. And you'll fill out all the information and you're getting to the point where it's supposed to process. And because you didn't enter it fast enough, it'll time out and you have to start over again. At which point, if you entered it directly on the site, they have to call you back or you have to be on the phone with them until they try to enter it again. And if it doesn't take that time, then you have to. So it's a, it's a waste of time. This way, if it doesn't go in because there's too many people on the site, you can try a couple hours later or wait until the evening to enter the information. And then it takes 15 minutes at most to enter that. And it's like quick, easy peasy. It's efficient for you. It's efficient for the person who's getting their patches ordered. So it's an efficiency, a question of efficiency. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome to learn more. This is where the 90 clinical studies and the 150 patents are. It's an educational site, nothing to buy here. So you can also provide that to your doctor if you have something that you are dealing with that you're under a specific doctor or doctor's care, you can share that with them. Um, make sure to get back. Of course, this is to get the to get started text, but Betsy can just text that to you directly. And to watch a replay, uh, I have a lot of education on my damelillianwalker.com, which just points to my YouTube channel. Looks like this. It's oftentimes easier for people to remember my full name. So just make it easy for people here. Tons of content there. And here's the last chance for you to get a screenshot of the bullet points if you'd like. And just get back to the person who referred you. And I wanna invite you to come back tonight at 7 p.m where we'll be doing a deep dive and we'll be going over this content again. I just wanna assure you, I have I have neurologists, I have doctors who special, specialize in anesthesiology and so forth. It's a lot for them to take in and they're familiar with uh, some of this content, but not all because their area of expertise isn't in stem cell activation. So I just want you to know if you're feeling like, wow, this is a lot of information. Yes, it is a lot of information. And that's why we encourage you to come back over and over again to listen and to learn more so that you can ascribe a meaning to what it is. You're really empowered every time you put one of these patches on. Your body is doing all the work. All you're doing is putting a mechanical device that's turning on the switch. And so as you understand what the mother does, what the daughter does, what some of the supportive patches are, you get very excited. It's like, oh my gosh, because you know you're doing so much good for your body. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you for your time and attention. You guys know where to reach me. Uh, and again, I'm available to do individual uh, patch placement calls once you get started. I, I really wanna make sure you, you have all your questions answered. Thanks for tuning in today, okay? Can you send the recording, please? You want the recording? Okay, What if I have everyone's permission, I will upload this to YouTube and I will um, then post it so that you can, you can rewatch it and you can share it with anyone that you have that might be interested. Yes, please. Okay. Everyone's yes, unanimous. Okay, fantastic. Okay. I will upload that then. All right, take care, my friends and gems. Ciao for now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.